This is video number three in a three part series on diabetes. If you want to know more about normal healthy regulation of glucose or type 1 and type 2 diabetes, you might want to watch the first two videos first. Otherwise, enjoy. In both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, the long term consequences for persistently high blood sugars, referred to as hyperglycemia, can be very serious. Glucose is, of course, our friend. We need it to live. But if we allow sugar levels to get too high, glucose can stop being our friend and become dangerous. High blood sugars can damage blood vessels supplying the retina of the eye. This can lead to blurred vision and eventually blindness. Glucose can also attack the arteries that supply the heart of his blood. This causes them to harden, leaving sufferers at high risk of a heart attack. It also damages blood vessels within the brain, increasing the risk of a stroke. Other consequences include peripheral vascular disease, kidney disease, and reduced rates of wound healing. The consequences of high blood sugar are many and potentially life-threatening. Luckily, these consequences can be largely avoided. If we keep blood sugar levels tight under control, then glucose can remain our friend. Low blood sugar levels, or hypoglycemia, can also be extremely dangerous. While many of the consequences of high glucose level are chronic in nature, with the negative effects building up over months to years, very low blood sugars result in much more immediate consequences for the sufferer. There can be many causes of hypoglycemia, including kidney disease, liver disease and starvation, but the most common culprit is diabetic medication. For example, a diabetic who takes their usual dose of insulin but then skips lunch, resulting in them having much more insulin in their bloodstream than they need to regulate the available blood glucose. The excess insulin levels lead to cell walls being too permeable to glucose and sugars are rapidly absorbed into cells and broken down, causing blood sugar levels to plummet. Without a source of fuel, our cell metabolism slows down and stops. Many of the symptoms of hypoglycemia result from the brain being deprived of glucose. A large percentage of the body's glucose goes towards fueling the high demands of our brain. And consequently, without a constant supply, it quickly begins to suffer. The exact symptoms of hypoglycemia can vary between sufferers, but can include negative emotions, such as feeling depressed or anxious, or irritable and angry. Coordination and thinking can become harder, with the sufferer becoming more clumsy, muddled, confused, or even delirious. More serious symptoms can develop if blood sugar levels are not restored, including seizures and coma. There is no standard set of symptoms for a hypoglycemic attack, and sometimes hypos can be mistaken for other things, for example, intoxication or rudeness. Healthcare professionals need to be vigilant. Treatment for hypoglycemia is, of course, the restoration of blood sugar levels. If the sufferer is conscious, then they can be encouraged to consume sugars or medications orally, for example, a sugary drink. If it's not safe for them to swallow, then they may require medications to be administered directly into their blood. It will also be necessary to investigate the underlying cause of the hypo to avoid the same thing happening again.